What's going on? And then, Everyone. Then, uh, these people wouldn't have to, you know, they could have their utopia and we could have ours. And that's not to say that it would be... Mind you, nobody's stopping white people from doing that now. They have the, the they have the option to do that now. Nobody's stopping white people from just being around white people. Most Drink white malt people liquor, only malt liquor. Shout out to Martin Luther King. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone. Time around black people, they don't live around them, they don't work around them, they're not around them at all. They're still dying out. So that's why I'm saying this propaganda gives the the misconception that they're the problem that isn't really there. And rather than chasing the solution to the real problem, they're chasing a problem that doesn't exist. Now, anyone other than white people committing genocide, white genocide, isn't a problem that actually exists. The only people who are doing it is them. But of course, in order to maintain white supremacy, they have to overlook the fact that they're causing their own genocide, and they have to scapegoat and blame it on someone else. They always have to blame it on something like, oh, it's immigrants. Okay, well, when, then when someone points out, well, most of those immigrants are white, so now what? And then they'll say, oh, well, it's interracial crime. No, well, most white people die at the hands of other white people, so that can't be it. But you can easily debunk the stupidity that he's saying that white people have the option right now to literally go be excluded. What he wants to do, he's basically saying, no, we need to exclude it and make it a law that bans white women from having access to other groups of people so that she, they can stop procreating with other groups of people and be forced to have sex with white men. That's what he's, he's saying. But even then, that's not going to solve the problem of your struggle genetics and the fact that they have the most mis miscarriages and that eggs cannot stick to the wall of your, their uterus risk like it does with other people. So you're still, that wouldn't even solve the problem, which is why I say go ahead and allow that to happen. I don't have any problems with what he's asking for because, again, they're still going to die out. Perfect. Uh, we all know that because then you still have different forms of government and so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to leave this link in the description box because I don't want to go over this entire video and you guys can listen to it. But again, it's just a bunch of, of stupidity and, and blaming things that don't even exist on it. No one, again, you can look at all the data and this is why they're stupid and they let, no, we live in a society where you can just say whatever you want to say and nobody's going to challenge it. Nobody is called causing white genocide except white people. It's not immigration. You can restrict every immigrant from coming into this um, country, white or non-white, and you're still not going to have that because you can't do anything about the people who are already here who are uh, already American. What he wants to do, because even, even if you separate them, white women are still going to go have sex with other races of, of, of people unless you ban them from doing so. So what he wants to do is, he's saying we need to be in societies where it's restricted, other races of people can't come anywhere since they're near white women so that they don't have the option to have sex with them. So therefore, we can stop dying out. And, but he doesn't realize that's not going to be the solution either because you just have struggle genetics and a very high rate of white-on-white -white crime. And unless you do something to circumvent that, you're still going to have the same problem. I'll leave the link in the description box, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, thank you guys for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, this integer. Thanks for including that video discussion on your videos. That was the video which I actually sent to Cynthia G. That's the video she was talking about, the one I sent her. I knew she was going to watch it and stuff, and I'm glad that she did it. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone. I know you watch this video thinking that, yeah, this woman is a racist, but... I kind of understand her, you know. I will look at things the same way she does per se, but she does make sense. Right, people are dying out. Yes. White people, most of them are violent by nature. And yes, if you look at the history, you're gonna see it all over that, you know, that, yeah, 
they're always gonna fight with each other. You see like Russians are fighting Germans and British. Like if you look at the Europe, they had feudalism, which is slavery, and they always had wars and famine and all kinds of shit. So, yeah. She has a good point. And the guy was right too. Segregation is good because see like people have problem with diversity. Now, Cynthia G said that she doesn't have problem with diversity. And I say that yes she does because if she wouldn't have problem with diversity then she wouldn't hate white people. But I don't know though. Because she made sense too because that's true though. Like if you're gonna look at fucking how black people are treated in fucking China or Japan like they're just doing fine you know there is no racism in China in Korea or even in fucking Saudi Arabia in all of these countries there is less racism than it is in the United States even in Russia it's less, less racism but it's kind of exists, but I'd say it's probably less. So it's really. I just have to agree with Cynthia G on that one too. I wouldn't say that she is wrong for saying that. So I guess. But at the same time, like I work with black people, and there were some problems. Black people are messing with me because I don't work as fast or whatever. So it's like, like I said, you know. I think that if the white people would be put in Africa or whatever, maybe they would have problems there, but who knows. But I don't know, maybe she is right, maybe. If white people go to Africa or Asia, they will be treated better. And she's right, you know, like, most of what white people did, they just conquer, 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 take advantage of other people, so. And now they're dying out. I don't know, she's a very logical person, like Cynthia G, I cannot, like, it's hard to, even for me to argue with you, for real, for real, like, you actually do make sense. Because white people are criminals, they are dying out. If you look at the history, you always fight with each other all the time. Yeah. Cannot argue. Can't argue on that. And if you go look at Old Testament, you know we had this Saint Jacob. And Isa was born first, but Isa was all about like fighting, hunting, and Jacob was all about learning Torah. So pretty much Jacob cheat Isa out, and he said he's gonna be first born. And that symbolizes how like all the white people, they're all about fucking fighting and hunting, they're just fucking savages, right? And the Jewish people, they are thinking about things, they are figuring things out and they are cheating white people out of their shit because they are intellectually superior than these fucking white crackers. That's how it is. And that was talking about Jewish superiority and uh, Jews control the world. So if you are going to look at Torah and you are talking about Jews, Jewish people controlling the world, it says in the Torah that you know Jewish people are intellectually superior than white people and it shows how Jewish people cheat in white people because if you know that from Issa white people came from and Jewish people came from Jacob. So here we go. That explains it. White people because they have lower IQ than Jews, they got cheated and manipulated by Jews and that's how, you know, Jewish people got on top of things and they rule the world and white people don't. Ha, ha, ha. That's what's up.
Speaking of Jews, I've been hanging out with Jews lately. Been drinking and smoking. A good time. These people are actually pure Jews too. More Jewish than me. By 25% or so. Of blood level. But, yeah. Had a good time with them though. It's fun. My buddy Jacob offered me to live in his house for like almost the same price I'm paying for my room. We'll see if I'm gonna do it. Because I'm thinking that I'm not gonna be living with my girlfriend for another year or so. She said that she wants to move in with her dad and then whenever she's gonna graduate we can start living together. And she is graduating spring of 2018. That's what's going on right now. But we'll see. It's gonna be what's gonna be. But well, trust me, one day we're gonna start living together. If not this year, next year. But that's whatever. Oh fuck, I still have a fucking half of the bottle of malt liquor to drink and I can't fucking drink it because I'm already fucked up. Because before that all I've been doing is like fucking smoking and then also I drank some fucking Kalu and still a little bit fucked up, like not a lot, a lot fucked up, but just a little bit. I've been high though, I drove home, I was just fine though, so it's alright. It's not too bad. Still can function. Just fucking chilling and shit. <sighs> Shut out to all my subscribers. Also, a couple of days ago, I found that message from Ramstad. He was asking my permission to be like congratulating Todd with like November to remember. Uh, with his 10 years on YouTube. I did not see the message on time. I only saw it a couple days ago. So I responded and I left Ramstad's my phone number. If something comes up. I usually don't check my messages on face on YouTube. I only mostly check my fucking comments and shit. But that time I randomly decided to check messages. So I just saw it. The reason why I don't really check messages on YouTube is simply because nobody writes me no fucking messages on YouTube. So if someone actually writes me a fucking message from like Ramstad did, that's pretty outrageous for me because nobody usually does it. But thank you, Ramstad, for doing that. Read my message, you get my number. If something comes up, you can always hit me up, call me, text me. That's it. For everybody else, if you want to say something to me, you can always PM me. And if you want my number, I can give it to you via PM. I'm not going to give it to you certainly on this video, but you can start talking and whatever. I'm open for communication with people. It just it is what it is. Having fun, had a great weekend, you know, like, I've been working this much and partying this much. 
Now I'm all by, all by myself though. I've been only hanging out like three or four, three, four people. But it's all right. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. Lately I've been hanging out with like a couple of people. I would not hanging out with fucking big companies or crowds or none of that shit, you know. I'm all right with that. Still have fun, get fucked up. Don't give a fuck about life or anything and just enjoy it while I can. Because there is gonna be the day when I'm not gonna know what's gonna be the next. So tomorrow is never promised. So might as well enjoy it while I'm here. And I'm pretty sure I'll be here for a long time, but Been here for 30 years now and maybe I live like another 30 and another 30, but that will be it. I already lived a substantial part of my life. I'm already like one third way there and it's gonna be over one of these days. Probably not too soon, but I just wonder if I'm gonna have afterlife, if I'm gonna just die and next second I'll just be somebody else. I'm gonna find that one out. Well, if I have, I'm gonna have a next life, I'm probably not gonna remember this one anyway, so what the fuck? Why the fuck I'm worried about it? Pondering the very question of existence. Trying to solve all the mysteries in the universe there are. Which is an impossible mission to accomplish, but hey. Life is great. I feel too full though, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this 40 because like I'm really feeling full right now, I feel kind of buzzed. Especially considering the fact that I don't even drink that much on the regular, so it's like gets me more fucked up than it used to years ago when I was like drinking almost like every day, 40 a day. Now I barely drink 40, so it's like, I lost all of my practice, you know, like, all the achievements I could have done in my 20s, now when I'm 30 years old, I cannot do it when it comes to drinking, because simply don't drink as much, so it's like, harder for me to chug it down and do it fast, and I also ate a lot, and I stretched my stomach, and I'm a small guy, I lost fucking 30 pounds working at FedEx. And uh, I don't think I just have enough capacity in my stomach to fucking drink a 40. So if I'm actually going to finish it, I think I'm going to puke before I finish it. So and I cannot puke in my room, like fuck that. So... I don't know, maybe I should just pause this video, like I said. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone. And um, I got this much left of the 40. I'm going to finish it whenever, I don't know when, but eventually I will get it, but not in this video. Sorry for disappointment. On this note, I'm out. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. All the best to you guys. Peace out. Later.